we sit here uh, with uh, systems, whether they're healthcare or education uh, or government or community systems that have been around forever. And that we all know that we can do better in the 21st century and that we could use technology, you know, to solve the challenges of citizens or patients or students in a different way. The problem we have is we're stuck in these old systems and we have no capacity for R&D to explore new ones. Why aren't we experimenting with different healthcare systems or different education systems while we're still supporting the core system and why aren't they I talk a lot about this notion uh, I call it connected adjacencies every time we try to do an ex exploration of a different model we build huge antigens to it we're allergic to it and we try to isolate it and we never learn anything from it we treat it as the enemy Right, you know, Uber is the enemy if you're running a taxi cab, you know, or a limousine service. Why don't we have these platforms for exploring new models that are truly R&D labs where we're trying to capture the learning so we can decide when does it make sense to move to a different model? What capability set can we use from that to strengthen the existing model? We should have more connection between the R&D and the existing set of models uh, and systems than we do today. Innovations, in, innovation at the social system level has become, uh, you could argue, either too hard or some would say impossible. You know, we don't have a path to, to explore new models and systems.